up my beautiful dreamers and welcome back for another video with your girl okay yeah this is happening nighttime routine i'm gonna show you how i preserve my wash and go this is a four day wash and go and it still looks really good number one starts with my scalp it's all about growth guys let's work together and not only growth here but these are all the different things that you can use i'm going to use the myel organic mint almond oil this is the first this is like the first time that i've really 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 actually liked one of her products but this one right here is really a good one i really enjoy this i'm going to put it on the balls of my fingers and i'm going to massage my scalp in a circular motion guys this is going to increase the blood flow in your scalp which definitely will lead to hair growth not only that it's a stress reliever take a few minutes before bed to really just pamper yourself get some stress out and why not try to promote some growth at the same time i'm just saying so I'm gonna make sure that oil is all over my roots as well as my scalp, and I don't rush this. I'm showing you the balls, take the balls of your fingers and just really rub in a circular motion. Don't rush it. Take the time, guys, give yourself a few minutes and really massage your scalp. Now you don't have to use an oil. I particularly like to use some form of oil. I like this mint because the mint is really stimulating the menthol in it, the mint really helps the blood circulation in the scalp. I'm here for it. And make sure you do your entire scalp. And don't forget the nape. Don't forget your kitchen. You can use the scalp massage. I know a lot of people do. I typically don't. I really like this to kind of on wet hair. You can use it. I'm not going to use it, but you can use it. I'm just saying, you can use it. Number two, moisturize and set. Guys, the best thing I can tell you, the way I am stretching my wash and goes, is to not stretch my wash and goes. And I do not use cream. I use some form of coil, I'm sorry, sorry, curl hydrator, a curl moisturizer in a spray form, and I only use a very little bit, that's it. I don't go crazy, and I don't manipulate the curls too much. I'm not gonna be raking it through, that's why I like the spray because it covers a large area. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that oil and set that in. Again, I'm not going to be going from my roots down to my ends. I am just going to scrunch. Scrunch as much as I can, as quickly as I can, trying my best to not disturb my curls. Here, I'm just going to take one of my large bands and I'm just gonna put it into a high puff. But the one, I mean, the loosest puff, that one puff can finally puff. Like, this is so loose, which is why I love it. Because I'm not looking to stretch my hair, so I'm not stretching it from the root or anything. I'm literally just putting it up to preserve the ends of my curls. And look, like I said, this is what, four days, almost five days, and it still looks phenomenal. Look at my curls, I love it. And you wanna know why they look like that? Cause I don't stretch my hair. I don't focus on shrinkage anymore. You know, we all want the long wash and go and when God decides to give it to me, I'll have it. But right now, focus on just growth. Okay, work those edges. And I love this stuff. It's a gel from Hairfinity. And guys, please do not, even if you have great edges right now, do not skip this method at night. There's nothing wrong with making sure your edges stay healthy. So that's exactly what I'm doing and this is a good one because it really helps just stick to those areas. Instead of, it's not an oil and it's not running all over the place. And then I'm gonna take my fingers. I don't know if I recorded that part. I took my fingers and really massaged that area in. Now, if you massaged earlier properly, that area still should be quite ready to absorb any product you put on. And then number four, I'm going to cover my hair and prepare for bed. Now that I have done my scalp massage, I've moisturized and sealed, I'm going to take my large scarf. You can use a bonnet or you can just not use anything and just sleep on a satin pillowcase. But I personally like to use the scarf. And the reason why is sometimes I feel like the bonnet comes off, I can, the way I tie it, I take all the, all the fabric off the top of my hair because I want the curls to last or to be uncovered and I tie it quite tightly, almost like around the nape part of my hair, just so I can, I'm laying down my edges, right? 
but then I'm going to pull my curls out on, from the top. I don't want my curls laid down. I don't want them smashed, but I do want them covered. So I pull them out to make sure they're nice and loose. And y'all, that bees it. That is how I get ready at nighttime to take care of my hair and my washing goes last. So I encourage you to try this method. Hopefully it works. The most important thing is the scalp massage. It is the best and number one way and the quickest way for hair growth. It's the simplest, but the most effective way to make sure that we continuously have hair growth coming out of our scalp. Take a few minutes, guys. I know you had a long day, but pamper yourself a little bit. You deserve it. Give yourself a few minutes at night and follow the routine. You'll get great results. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the very next video. Subscribe and share this video for me. I really appreciate it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.